All right, so I've made a ton of videos on YouTube families before, and all of those YouTube families that I've looked at have all been horrible. They made cringy content, they made fake content, they made clickbait content. They're just overall super bad. But somehow, I just found another YouTube family that takes all of these other things and mashes it into one and becomes the worst ball of YouTube family poop I've ever seen. Like, this channel is so bad, I don't even wanna make this video. Like, I'm regretting doing this right now, but I need to show you this because it's so bad. The name of this stupid family is the Bay family. This is what they look like. This is the dad, the mom, and they have two daughters, I think. Uh, they have 394,000 subscribers. I don't know how because their videos are bad. Their channel banner says subscribe for a taco. That's pretty funny. I, I'm not going to say it. Okay. All right. Take a look at this video that they posted literally yesterday. This video says somebody is outside our home at 3 a.m. And the thumbnail shows the mom, the daughter, and the dad under a cover. But then behind them, there's a freaking intruder. There's somebody outside their home. They broke a window. This is like about to come for them. This is really creepy, right? I ended up watching this video to see if there was actually an intruder outside of their house about to break through their window, just like the thumbnail showed, right? Well, in this video, it's a 22 minute video. Video. It's pretty much all fluff, but then turns out it's just a prank. Their dad was playing a prank on them. He was wearing this mask and he was acting like he was the guy outside. Very, very scary. Very, very funny, right? That's a great prank. Let's just prank my family into thinking there's an intruder outside. If you go to the comment section, you can see the top comment says, best family out there. Best family out there. Best at, best at what? Clickbaiting? Lying? This video says Selena is really sick. She can't stop throwing up. And the thumbnail shows the dad and the daughter going like, oh my god, oh my god. And then the mom is literally going, uh, vomiting all over this brand new white bed. It looks so nice. And she's ruining the bed. Bro, why is she so sick? She can't stop throwing up? Oh my god, I gotta see this. I hope she feels better. I ended up clicking on this video to see if she was actually sick and she couldn't stop throwing up and they had to take her to the ER, stuff like that. But it's just a prank. <laughs> Whenever you actually watch this clip, it's just so obviously fake. Look at this. Like he literally expected it. Look at him. He's not sleeping. This guy's acting like he's sleeping. He's not sleeping. Watch him the whole time. Don't even look at the girl. Look at him the whole time. Ready? You see how he's like, like you can just tell he's not sleeping. Three weeks ago, they posted a video that says, we can't believe Myla and Soul did this. Our house is destroyed. If you look at the thumbnail, there's just paint all over their floors and stuff like that. These little girls have paint all over them. I ended up clicking on this video to see if that actually happened. And turns out, this kind of actually happened. There's like this paint all over their floor, if you watch the video, but uh, it's like all like removable. You can remove all this. It's supposed to be like on floor and like walls and stuff. It's for little kids. Here's the thing though. This is the only video on their channel that isn't clickbait. I actually found their only video that isn't clickbait. And look, it only has 14,000 views. All their other videos of clickbait and stuff, 41,000 views. Like, bro, this is the one time they actually made a real thumbnail and then they realized it didn't get a ton of views if they didn't clickbait. So they never posted another not clickbait thumbnail again. Look at this. Something scary is living in our backyard. It's the mom, the daughter, and the dad. And then you have a bear. There's literally a bear. Where the hell do you live? Do you live in the Amazon rainforest? Why the hell is there a bear in your backyard? Who the hell would believe that? Well, apparently uh, 68,000 people thought that this bear was actually in their backyard about to break through and eat them. I knew I didn't even have to click on this video to prove that this was literally fake. Uh, they proved to me before that all their videos were fake, but I decided to click on it and watch it just to see what was actually in their backyard. And look at this. Do you hear that? What? Do you hear that? Hear what? This whole video is just them playing around in their backyard for the first like eight minutes. They're just digging holes, hanging out, recording, like what the hell? But then they find a snake in their backyard. Turns out this snake is literally so fake. It's all a part of the prank. This guy has a toy snake tied around his ankle and he's gonna act like there's actually a snake. Like look at this bro. <laughs> The snake is following him because it's tied around his ankle. The little girl starts beating the hell out of the snake. She throws it around. She obviously knows it's fake. Uh, any little girl, if it was an actual snake, would be like, ah! But she knew it was fake, so that's why she was hitting it. 
This is so damn cringy, bruh. People in the comment section must be stupid because they said, OMG, that's a huge snake. Somebody else said, that was live. Somebody else said, your daughter wasn't even scared of the snake. Your savior was your daughter. Bro, who the hell would be scared of a fake snake? If you're scared of a fake snake, you have issues. I swear to God. I don't mind people who are scared of snakes. Snakes can be scary because they bite you. But if you're scared of a stuffed animal snake, you need to get your priorities checked. You need to get checked out. Somebody needs to check you out. You need to go to the doctor. Take a physical because you might have some damn problems if you're scared of that. What the hell is this? This video says our daughter got abducted by aliens. <laughs> Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. I didn't think the clickbait could get that bad. They were clickbaiting a bear being in their backyard. They were clickbaiting somebody being outside their house about to break in. They went and said their daughter got abducted by aliens. What the hell? I ended up clicking on this video to see if her daughter actually got taken and she started floating and got taken by a UFO. That actually never ended up happening. What actually happened is so stupid. You're never gonna believe this. If I tell you what actually happened in this video, you're probably gonna vomit. His daughter put on a costume, a Halloween costume that makes it look like an alien's holding you. Basically, you put your, your body in and then it has some fake legs so it looks like you're being held by a big alien. This girl was literally wearing a Halloween costume. The costume looks like an alien is holding you. And then you made a video about it. You made a video saying, our daughter got abducted by aliens. You made your thumbnail show your daughter literally like, ah, like going to the UFO because of a Halloween costume. By the way, they posted this video on May 27th. Why the hell are you wearing Halloween costumes in May. Are you guys a little cuckoo? Did that snake end up biting one of you guys? The fake snake from the last video? What's wrong with you? I'm pretty sure this family has a crush on aliens because they made a video right before that that says, we found a UFO, alien abduction. No, you didn't. You did not find a UFO. I promise you didn't find a UFO. I'm not gonna click on this because I know how stupid it is. I'm just gonna say right now, you didn't find one. You're lying. I know all of you were probably gonna be mad if I didn't show the video just to show proof because there's a, probably a ton of little Timmy Bobby Jones out there saying, hey, I like the Bay family. Stop hating on them, you have no proof. So I ended up going through this video and look at what I found. In this video, they end up going to this restaurant or hotel, it's called like Little Alien Restaurant and they found a little UFO. Like that's not real, it's a it's a restaurant that they have like little like knickknacks that look like UFOs because it's alien themed. What is wrong with you guys? You remember how earlier they made a video about how the mom kept throwing up and she was so sick? Well, look at this, bro. Our daughter threw up all over her baby sister. Bro, what? If you look at the thumbnail, bro, it's just like, what is going on, bro? The lit the baby has vomit all over her. But if you look at the girl who's throwing up, throwing up, right? She's smiling. Like, she's like trying not to laugh. She's like, she's making this face. I don't know who the hell would vomit doing that. I have, I'm pretty sure nobody in the history of the world threw up going, ah, ah, it's not a pleasurable experience. Why are you smiling? Okay, I'm starting to think that this family has serious issues. There's something in the water at their house or something. Something's wrong with them because our daughter almost burned down our house. What the hell? You got the dad, the daughter, and the mom going like, oh my God, and then their whole kitchen is on fire. What? What do you mean almost burned down our house? If that picture in the background actually happened, your house would be toast. There would be nothing you can do. Do you see how much, like how Vic, 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 I don't know what I'm trying to say. Do you see how strong those freaking flames are? You're dead. Okay, I cannot believe what I'm about to say, but you need to see this video right here. This family is so scummy. Look at what happens. So you click on this video about the house burning down or whatever, but look at what happens. You ready? Just like that, she does it like that. So okay, this girl puts in good. some metal. I gotta go. The fire, the fire truck just got here. So apparently the, the daughter put some metal in the microwave and then the, the video cuts to some fire truck footage and footage of like like a fire and then you could hear the guy in the background saying we gotta go the fire truck's here i gotta go the fire the fire truck just got here like this guy's obviously like like it seems like their house burned down they had the fire truck and everything but this is fake if you pay attention fire, you can see that there's something on the top here there's something on the bottom you see this line right here this is the line that happens whenever like you have you see the iphone Whenever you have an iPhone, there's like a line right here, which means like you can swipe, you see? This guy was screen recording footage of firefighters and he lied. He was in the background saying, oh God, we gotta go. You wanna know how I know that this was literally faked? If you watch the full video, you can see that nothing actually happened. He just played a prank on them. I don't wanna look at 
at the kitchen. <laughs> what is so funny? He ended up blowing a bunch of smoke in the house to make it look like his house was actually burning down. Turns out it was a prank. He pranked them by making them think their house burned down. What a prank. Like, hey guys, the whole house burned down and our pet dog died in the fire, but it's a prank. What? You gotta be kidding me, bro. This video says our daughter can't stop throwing up. Why? Why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep showing your, your, your children being sick? And the funny thing is, it's the same damn picture of your daughter. It's just flipped to the other side. You remember when your daughter was going, eh, she's doing the same damn thing right here. You wanna know what the funnier thing is about this video? The daughter's <laughs> literally smiling again. If you go back to this video, you can see how she's going like, eh, but she's like smiling. She's doing it again. She's going, ah, like, why can't you keep a damn straight face? Your parents are trying to make fake YouTube videos. You're making it pretty obvious, little girl. Just look at the thumbnail of this video. They're literally like so scared and their window's broken and there's a tornado and thunder like about to just completely demolish them. The, vi the title of this video says, we survived a tornado in California. No, you didn't. There was no tornado. There was no tornado. There was probably a tornado warning. Like they were saying, oh, there could be a tornado. And then you guys made a vlog about it. You guys sit around the house for 20 minutes and say, there's a tornado guys. Who cares? Really, who cares? Like that did not happen. Stop making that your thumbnail if it didn't happen. Oh my God, I should have expected that they were gonna do this. I should have known that they were gonna make this video. This video says, our house got flooded, destroyed. The thumbnail shows the whole family just in shock, like, oh my God. And then in the window, there's just water pouring through their house. They even had to add text that says flooded. They act like we're like three-year-old kids. We don't know what that means. There's literally water piling up. Like it's literally a pool in their house right now. That's what it looks like in the thumbnail. I guarantee you, there's gonna be like a, a little kid who leaves the bath on and it like overflows a little bit. I remember in one of my other videos, there was a family who said that their house got flooded. Turns out there was like a, a puddle of water on their floor. If that's what this is, I swear to God, if there's a puddle of water and they say their house got flooded. There's a state of emergency literally as we speak right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Cleaning up a tree. So if you watch that intro, it seems like their house was actually flooded. They went outside and they were like, oh my God, it was raining. He said it was an emergency. And then he starts showing videos of water in their house. There's actual water. The girls were sitting on top of like a couch or whatever the hell they were sitting on because the water was so bad. Oh my God. Turns out this was all fake. It was literally just a filter. Look at this. Apparently he's using a filter on TikTok to make it look like his house is flooded. Oh my God. This thing is literally nuts. It honestly looks pretty real, but like anybody with a brain would know that this is not real. Your house is not flooded, buddy. What makes this video even worse is the fact that at the end of the video, you can tell that they said like, oh my God, like this is fake. Like we're using a filter. This is so cool. Like it's, but at the start of the video, he makes it seem like, like their house is flooded. They have to sit on top of stuff because it's flooded. And people in the comment section are so like, look at this. The top comment says, you guys be safe with the crying emoji. This person also said, did you guys buy a new house? I hope you did because that house is destroyed like crazy. Somebody else said, yo, be safe guys. There are people who actually believe that their house got flooded all because you're clickbaiting people in the thumbnail. I don't know why all these YouTube families feel like they need to like fake videos and make stupid fake clickbait content to get views. It's honestly pretty embarrassing. I looked at another family that does the same exact thing in this video right there. This family just makes fake content just like this family. I exposed them in that video, so go watch that. Or, oh my God, I'm almost just vomited because I, I hate this family. Click right here to unsubscribe from a stupid channel, peace.